Today in the Pedal Vault, the Lone Wolf Audio Bullet Belt. Before we start the actual review disclaimer here, I'm a Lone Wolf Audio artist, that means I'm endorsed by the company, however I paid for this pedal and Joe has no power over my words, so I say what I want to say and I dial in what I want to dial in. So here we have the bullet belt and it's a fully loaded ultra violence pedal, uh, it's basically an amp in a box, I don't know which amp exactly and frankly i don't care as long as it sounds good um we have basically a five band eq with your typical low mid high then we have an additional depth control and presence control then we have gain and we have volume and another cool feature is that we actually have two outputs we have a regular output and we have a power amp output that has some higher volume and I show you the difference um, on the EQ curves. So first of all, when the pedal is deactivated, the power amp input is actually deactivated as well. So when I activate the pedal, now you can see here we have minus 40 and here we have minus 40. 1.5 so it's a bit louder so first things first and now let's limit ourselves to the regular output here when we let's see what gain does because gain is actually quite drastic when it's on zero there's basically no signal coming through and here it starts and the more gain we give, the broader the curve seems to be. Let's pull it back at around one, exactly at the breakout point. That's here. Okay, so volume. Very effective on the first half, not so effective on the second half. Okay, now depth. At one, one sixty. Not so drastic cat, so more of a boost. Low. It's more of a shelf control, as you can see. Mid. It's again rather subtle. Seems to be centered around 540 or 500 hertz. Whoops. High. More or less a high shelf around here, 1.5. At least that's what it's look what it looks like. And presence. Now we're talking a highly effective high shell that hugely boosts the frequencies with a slight peak at 8k and it's most prominent around the 2k area. Should stop clicking on the graph. Oh, 
Okay, I think that's about it. Now let's find out how this pebble actually sounds. <laughs>
For the lightweight group part, I wanted to explore more of the capabilities as a preamp pedal, so uh, into a power amp. So no other gain stage after it. My signal chain is quite simple. It's my guitar. And then I wanted to go into a boost. And for a boost, I opted for the came a Logan Transcend Drive because it's really, really versatile. And I can both show you how the bullet belt sounds with a boost and with an HM2. So then we go into the bullet belt and then we go directly into the interface and I've actually enabled a gate because this is uh, this has quite the noisy hiss to it. And uh, I don't think it's the problem of the pedal. It's more or less a uh, circuitry problem I have in my setup. So don't worry. And then I go into Nadir and I've chosen a Jens Bogren IR. It's the gates of hell. And this pedal is rather funny because when I deactivate it, uh, the signal is actually deactivated as well. So I give you the sound with everything on noon and volume is already set to match the output. Maybe I play around with it. Anyways, here is the sound. <laughs> So now I'll dial in the amp, maybe introduce some more noise, but, uh, funny thing, but the funny thing is that uh, the noise uh, disappears when I activate the Logan. So bear with me here. Okay. Okay, this sound is cool. It sounds, actually it sounds just like an amp. And now let's engage the Logan. And the mids are currently deactivated and, well, I should actually reset this. So, and yeah, give it some boost. See, now it's disappeared. I think the bullet belt is highly improved when we uh, activate the boost. It gives it well, more chunk, more, more everything, basically. So yeah, now let's activate the mids. And you will hear that the noise will increase. And <laughs> well, that's just how the pedal works. And we'll dial in some HM2 frequencies here.
Okay, so with the change of frequency, it's basically around 1.2, I suppose. It sounds really, really good. And well, apart from this really funny uh, feature that you uh, you can get too lean control when you use a proper noise gate and not just some VST plugin. This sounded good. And it's a real cool pedal platform. The pedal itself. So, okay, with this set, let's hear my verdict. So, first things first, I really think that this is a prime example of how a preamp pedal should be made or should be designed because First of all, it has a dedicated power amp output, uh, which increases the output signal quite a bit. So that's cool. And it has another output. I think you can also run those stereo. And that's a plus because I really like to use my preamp pedals in front of the power amp or into the FX return of an amp. And another cool thing, it's basically the best feature. It's the presence and the depth control. I think every preamp pal should have at least a presence control. Depth is a nice icing on the cake, I think. Because oftentimes I see myself using those preamp pedals and I think, ah, there are some really highs, so some are missing. And well, I don't have a presence control. I have to dial them in somewhere else. And that's really annoying. I want to dial in the, exactly the sound that I won't have with just the pedal and then put it to basically any power amp without uh, being concerned on how the if it has a presence control or if it will sound dull or so. So that's a huge huge plus. Apart from that sound wise I really like the bullet belt. It has a unique approach. It doesn't have this much gain or it's not this compressed I have to say. And I really like it. It sounds old school, of course, and you have a nice range of tones for each of the, well, actually it's a five band EQ, uh, but you definitely need a noise gate with this. Uh, Joe said as well that you have to use a noise gate because it's so, <laughs> so over the top. And uh, that's, that's okay for me. I use noise gates regularly. And, uh, but it might concern you if you don't have a noise gate, this pedal, well, the fun is multiplied if you add a proper noise gate. Uh, spoiler, Boss NS2's no noise gate. So, yeah, that's about it. Have you played the bullet belt? If so, what do you think about this pedal? Write a comment down below in the comment section. If you want to support this channel, check out the links in the description. And with this said, Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the force be with you and have a nice day.